Welcome back to the Father Son Podcast. I'm Colin. I'm Michael. And this is episode eight. And today we're talking all about money. We've got some fun segments coming up today, blind rankings, quizzes, and much more. So stay tuned. All right. And I'm going to get started. Can you name as fast as you can in order from lowest to highest, all U.S. currency, coins and paper included? Go. Oh, my goodness. Penny, nickel, dime, quarter, is there any more? I mean, they have like silver coins and Faster. stuff, but are we counting that stuff? Silver yeah. coins? Whatever. Okay. Well, they got those weird like Sacagawea gold coins. They got the silver 50 cent ones. That wasn't in order. Sorry. Okay. I'm going to dollars. $1 bill, $5 bill, $10 bill, $20 bill, $50 bill, $100 bill. Okay. That was actually very good, except for the mess up on the coins. On the coins, Out of yeah. order. And you missed one currency, which I kind of thought you probably would miss. Oh, what is it? Oh, two dollar bill. Yeah, you got it. Dang, I actually have two dollar bills. So when I your brain has that. to go that fast, it's like yeah. easy to forget things that you don't normally. They're not see. very common nowadays, not common. so I'm not too surprised I forgot it. But yeah, but other than that, you did really well. Did you have the the big uh, silver dollars, the fifty cent coins, and then the gold coins too? In my list, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. So, so yeah. was that everything though? That was everything. Yeah. Dang. I so didn't, I didn't do too bad. You did actually very well. They actually did used to have, um, what was it five? 500, 1,000, 5,000, and 10,000. Dollar bills. Dollar bills, yes. And they may actually still be in circulation and they're still valid currency, Dang. but they don't make them anymore. I don't know how long it's been, but yeah, those are not in That would be anymore. a real flex, just walking around with a $10,000 <laughs> bill. Yeah, no need for a big roll of cash. You just have just one, one bill. bill. It doesn't look as cool, though. <laughs> 10G bill. Maybe maybe it would look cool if it said 10,000 on it, but I don't know. Walking around with like a whole stack or a whole roll of cash I looks mean, better than one bill. That's some power right there, but flashing a 10G bill, that's like, that'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, it would be actually. <laughs> but if you lose it, that would, that not, would not be, be very, very sweet. sweet. <laughs> no, not at all. All right. I need my phone for this next segment. Okay. Because I need to show you some pictures. Ooh. What okay. you got for me? Blind rank these five currencies from around the world by their looks. Oh, okay. Okay, first up, we've got the Norwegian krona. And this is the back of the bill, so I cheated a little bit, but I just thought it was super unique. That is kind of crazy. It's like some contemporary art. Some, in yeah, there. some modern <laughs> art. This is their new, the reason I partly did this is this is their new bill. Okay. So, yeah, that's interesting. Where would you um, put that one to five? So, it's pretty cool. It's very different. Um, the colors are kind of neutral, earthy tones. Mm -hmm. I think maybe I like more like colorful stuff, but I would still give it like a three. I'm going to go right down the middle. Right in the middle. All right. Yeah. It's pretty safe. Next up, the good old US dollar. <laughs> so this thing is, of course, what I see all the time. So mm -hmm. it's like, I love money. Money's good. <laughs> so to me, that's money. Right. That's money right there. Um, but as far as the way it looks, I don't know. National Treasure, they make it look pretty cool because of all the hidden stuff in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it is a little boring because it's just basically one color. Um, that right. being said, the fact that we have our presidents and other important people on there is pretty cool. I'm going to have to give that number two. Two. Yeah. Above the Norwegian Krona. Okay. Because it's my currency it's, that's fair enough. I mean, if I'm like rating it based on artistic style mm -hmm. and stuff like that, I probably wouldn't go as high. That's the thing. It is our currency and yeah. we all like money. So of course they're going to like that. Yeah. I actually kind of had the opposite reasoning as you. I thought it was kind of boring because it's just like this bunch of old guys in the middle. <laughs> but the thing I do like about it is money just money is green, guys. Come uh, on, get the, the rest is, of the world needs to get their act together. That's the color of money. Money is supposed to be green, and the U.S. does it green, so yep. that's what I like about it. But, of uh -huh. course, this isn't my ranking, so got it. number two for you. All right, next up, we've got the South African Rand. Okay. That's what those look like. That's actually really cool. I like that they have different colors for each um, currency. That's pretty nice. And I can't exactly tell what's... Oh, it's animals. It's oh, animals. Oh, that's Here, I'll zoom sweet. In for you. Okay. Yeah. So they've got... Uh, cheetah, bison, lion. Um, I don't know what else is on there. Elephant and rhino. That's sweet. I'm going to give that number one. Number one. All right. Yeah. I'm glad you did that because that definitely deserves number one. When I saw that, I was like, okay, I need to make some sort of quiz out of this. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> that is super cool. You got a couple of the animals wrong, but I'll forgive you. Oh, That's a buffalo, not a bison. I'm pretty they're sure. They're the same thing. And then they're not the same oh, thing. Oh, that's a water buffalo. 
Well, that would Buffalo make and more... Bison are definitely not the same thing, by the way, because I was having this debate oh. with one of my cousins <laughs> while we were at the cabin, actually. <laughs> okay. So we were like, what? what is the difference between a buffalo and a bison? But yeah, buffalo have those like bigger horns on them, and then the bison are kind of the weirdly shaped oh, ones okay. that are more in North America yeah. um, without the big and horns. And water buffalo would make more sense for Africa. And then, dang so. it, well... That's not a cheetah? There's a leopard? It's not. It's a, I think it's a leopard, yeah. Okay. Anyways. Kind of hard to tell. Super cool. South Africa, that's, you have some cool money. That's cool. All right. Fourth is the Egyptian pound. Um. Okay. That's pretty sweet. I mean, come on. They got King Tut on that the, thing. <laughs> and just the fact that they've got silver around and then gold in the middle, I like mm -hmm. that. So the dual metals there looks pretty cool. And yeah, I mean, that's, that is pretty sweet. King Tut with a bunch of crowns around the edge. I like it. Um, unfortunately, I've only got four and five four left. Four and five, yeah. And uh, I'm going to have to give it number four because I, I like it. I can't give it the last place. All right. Well, what are you giving number five? Uh, it's the New Zealand dollar. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty cool, too. I know. Isn't that kind of a weird dollar? Who is that, dude? Exactly. It's like <laughs> just some random guy. It looks like they just found someone on the street, took a picture of him, and they're like, all right, you're going to be on our dollar. He kind of looks like a airplane backwoods airplane pilot or something i forgot his name but it's it's some important guy in new zealand huh. if you're from new zealand let us know who he is i like I that forgot, hair but that's like pretty sweet man. i know i thought it was very interesting that it's not like some guy dressed up all fancy or whatever he's just just looks like a normal guy that they put on their money i like the look of it but unfortunately it is gonna have to take number five. Oh, sorry new zealand that was a pretty good list though i think probably most people would say you put the u.s dollar too high yeah <laughs> Probably would have been better if you put the, maybe like the Egyptian pound in place of the U.S. dollar. Having King Tut on your money, that's, yeah, that's pretty, cool. pretty cool. Yeah. But good list overall. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not going to be too disappointed, but if I could have done it over, I probably would have done it. Probably. Yeah. All right. So um, you kind of, you didn't cheat because you didn't know, but this, you're, it's going to help you out that you did this quiz for oh, me. Perfect. A little bit. Okay. Okay. All right. So match the currency with the country. <sighs> I knew you would do this. And I'm glad you're doing, well, which way are you doing it? Because if you I'm tell gonna, me the country, no, the currency. That's, that's too difficult. Okay, because yeah. I would have absolutely no chance. It's, it still may be a little bit difficult, but. Yeah, all right, go try. for it. Okay. So match the currency with the country. First up is the peso. Peso. That's not, is it Mexico? It is. And some of these have multiple countries. I was going to say, I think it's in South America too, right? Yeah. Not everywhere, but some of the countries. I think maybe like Colombia and stuff, they have the peso. But, but yeah, peso, Mexico is a good. Mexico. That is correct. That is valid. All that right. That is a valid sweet. answer. All right. Next one is the yuan. Yuan. That sounds like it's probably Asian. A good start. Okay. <laughs> I don't think it's Japan or China. Is it India or maybe is it a bigger country or a smaller country? You're not going to tell me. <laughs> All right. I'm going India. No. Dang it. What was so it? if you had been paying attention to the the currency that we have on here, uh, I cannot read Chinese. Is that uh, Chinese? This is Chinese. Yes. <laughs> so it, is that like the Chinese dollar? Yeah. What is it called again? The Yuan. Yuan. And I, I think it actually that. says that on here somewhere, but I can't see it right now. Uh, Does but it anyway. say it in English? It is on here. Because I definitely cannot read in Chinese. So the Chinese Yuan. All right. Number three, the ruble. Oh, man, I've heard this before. Is that India? No. The ruble. Ruble. Yeah, ruble, you have heard ruble. it. Ruble. Yes, it's I have. It's a big country. Big country. It's not like Brazil. Big as in big in size? Or... Yes. Oh. Ruble. What in the world could it be? One of the largest countries in the world. Well, it's not Canada, is it? No. It's not China, because we already did that. It's not the U.S. Brazil? I mean... What other big countries are there? What am I missing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> India? I already said that. Uh -uh. What the heck? There's no other big countries, it's, are It's there? very close to China. Is it? Um, now we're doing... Indonesia? Now we're doing... That's not a big country. Now well, we're doing uh, geography here. <laughs> yeah, this isn't good. I don't know Asia very well. Like, China. What's north of China? North of China. North and... Um, oh, Russia. E yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay. That threw me off because you said one of the biggest countries in the world. Yeah. And obviously well, Russia is the biggest. If you told me that, though, I would have given it away. Right, exactly. That's why I didn't think of it. I was like, what are like the third through... Since he didn't say the biggest, I'm automatically throwing Russia I think out. I, I think I did that subconsciously, but... Yeah, the Russian ruble. Ruble, okay. Yeah. 
yeah, I probably should have known that, but I don't think I would have really ever gotten there by myself. All right. So here's one that I hope you get. It's the Euro. Um, I'm pretty sure they use that all throughout Europe. So is, does that count or give me a country? <laughs> I think you can. So like, for example, in England, I think you can use pounds or euros. So, um, I don't think they use the, the Euro there anymore. I mean, they may accept it as an exchange, but it's not their official currency. Okay. Well, let's go to Germany then. There you go. <laughs> is is <laughs> well, that the one you that. had down? No, I, I mean, I had I mean, a number of them you, down. Yeah. But. You could probably do Spain, Portugal, France, Germany, whatever. Yep, exactly. But. Very good. Okay. Um, how about the rupee? Is that India? I'm going to keep yes. guessing India until I finally get <laughs> until it right. you get it. There we go. So I yep. wasn't too far off with ruble. Yeah, ruby. you kind of similar. Yep, very good. Okay. Um, the yen? Oh, that's Japan, right? Yes. All Japan. right, sweet. Good job. Okay. I knew that one. Here, here we go. Dollar, not including the U.S. Hmm. Um, well, let me cheat real quick and... <laughs> I will take the New Zealand dollar. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> what did you Yeah, have there done? are a bunch of them. Yeah. Um, Canada, Australia, New Zealand. Okay. Um, there are a bunch. Even Suriname, as I mentioned before. Oh, yeah. That so. throws me off sometimes because um, sometimes I'll see dollar, but then they're talking about Canadian dollars, and it will, but it's a lot more. And it will say Canadian dollar, New Zealand well, dollar. Well, sometimes I just hear someone, like, US since dollar. Canadian accents are pretty similar mm -hmm. to American accents, I'll see someone talking, and I think they're American, but they're actually Canadian, uh -huh. and they'll say, like, it costs $2,200, and I'm like, whoa, whoa that's a lot. It's actually but, 1500 yeah, US dollars. So that throws me off sometimes. <laughs> um, so this is from Suriname. And this back then, this is from 1991. That's a pretty cool bill. Yeah. This, uh, it's got like a macaw. No, what is that? A toucan on the back. Yeah. Anyway, thousand guilders, but now they go with dollars. So Suriname uses dollars now too. So how much is $1,000 in US dollars? Well, so since this is guilders and this mm -hmm. was back in the 90s, um, they actually had a horrible exchange rate. So it was like 750 to one. I think at the worst. Oh wow! So this was only worth a little more than a dollar. Jeez, <laughs> for, a thousand. for a thousand. It was horrible. I lived there for a while, and yeah, it was horrible for the people there because it, they just yeah, it was it was bad economics for them. Okay. Um, okay. So just got two left here. Okay. Uh, the pound. Okay. Well, that's England. <laughs> Very good. Just talked about that. The UK actually. Oh uh, yeah, England. Right. Okay. Included, and one that you mentioned before, the rand. See if you can remember without looking. Oh, uh, South Africa. There you go. There you go. I remember that one because I had to look up the pronunciation because I didn't uh, know if it was like ran, rained, or if they said it some weird way. But yeah. South African. The coolest. The coolest. The coolest one. Did you know what it currencies. looked like or did you just no, know the name? I had no idea. Yeah. I'm, I need to get my hands on some South African rands because those things actually look super cool. We know someone that came from there. So True. She might have some, she might have some. some South African rands. <laughs> um, okay. <clears throat> my turn. Yep. All right. I'm going to throw you off a little bit here because one of your quizzes that you gave me already must have been inaccurate. Uh-oh. And I'm going to ask you, can you guess what the biggest bill in the U.S. is? Oh. So it's not the $10,000 bill? Not $10,000. So they made something bigger than that. Did they? Oh. I'll give you five guesses. So Five? I really want <laughs> you to get this right. <laughs> Um, okay. So hundred thousand dollar. That is exactly right. Oh. <laughs> One hundred thousand dollar bill. We were talking about walking around with a ten thousand dollar bill. Imagine walking around with a one hundred thousand dollar bill. So oh you know what? I think I actually did hear about that, but it's never been in um circulation. Yeah. It was only for transferring money like to from the exactly feds so or... it's yeah it's just from like federal banks they're right. the ones that are allowed to transfer in fact i'm pretty sure it's like illegal for just normal citizens to have it and try to use it normally. that can't actually be still used right because isn't everything just digital now probably why, why would they need yeah, paper so money for that they started printing it in 1934 and they stopped wow. in like 1945 so hmm, it's probably okay. not really around anymore and like i said it's actually illegal for just like normal citizens citizens to try to use it and trade it. So um, Woodrow Wilson was on the front of it. Oh. So that's pretty interesting. They Did kept he up put the, himself or who? Let's, let's see. 1934. Was, I don't know. Uh, World War II. Not so a historian. like Eisenhower oh. or something. Oh, maybe. Was I he president? I, really I don't know. know. <laughs> I think, and I don't know what order Woodrow Wilson is. Obviously, it was before. Before this, 1934. Before this date, but. Yeah. 
Huh. So that's interesting. Yeah. And yeah, like you mentioned, is only for transactions between Federal Reserve banks. So there you go, hundred thousand dollars. Jeez. That, I know, but that would be pretty like stressful because I was gonna say, imagine just one bill. Imagine losing that thing. <laughs> Being the guy that had to carry it over. Yeah, that would be stressful. No, thank you. I wonder if they still have some of those on display somewhere. They probably do. Probably, yeah. But since it's not worth anything, it doesn't like steal it. But who cares, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I've got um, I've got a question for you. All right. Actually, a bunch of them. So oh they all have the same question: What's worth the most? I'm going to give you two, two items. Okay. And you have to tell me which one's worth more. And you can guess um, what the value is, too, if you want to. Interesting. Okay. I was actually thinking about doing this for you, but I didn't end up doing it. So I'm glad. Oh, okay. Wow. I just realized that, okay, this is funny, but. Okay. Um, 1933 Goudry Baby Ruth baseball card. Oh, got it. Okay. okay. That made a lot more sense once you finished it. Baseball card. I was Did like, I say Baby Ruth? No, Goudry, there's too many wise. Goudry Babe Ruth car baseball card. Okay. okay. And a uh, Bugatti Chiron. Okay, come on. <laughs> Which one's no worth way. more? Bugatti Chiron has to be worth more. Do you know? Final so, answer. I'm going to say 4.5 million for the Bugatti Chiron. So I looked up what those were worth and it was not 4.5. Well, okay, what is it? Maybe with all of bells and whistles and stuff on it. What is it? Three million? Um, 2.9. 2.9? Yeah. Okay. So if you actually thought it was 4.5, then, then would you would have right. been correct. <laughs> no, is the Babe Ruth worth 3 million or 4 million? 4.2 million dollars. Come on, It guys. got at auction. Can you believe that? Who is paying for 4 million dollars for a baseball card? Yeah, and this was oh, um man. rated Oh, uh, is it A9? I can't remember the rating system, but not even a 10. So it wasn't perfect. Oh, wow. It was one step below perfect. And it's still got 4.2. Oh, so I don't know crazy. if it's a one of a kind or if there are multiple out there, but people, it better be a one of a kind. If you're spending $4 million on a car, isn't that nuts? And other people have it. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Wow. All right. Next up, a bag of crunchy Cheetos or <laughs> a gallon of gasoline. Okay. We're going down a lot <laughs> from the Bugatti Chiron and the right. card. Um, Crunchy Cheetos, okay. Is that different from like Cheeto Puffs? Or... I mean, it could be. I don't know. I just looked or it up. A gallon of one gas. I now, are we talking a gallon of gas in California or? Here. Both prices are here. Uh, okay. I'm going to say the Cheetos is more. Okay. Do you have any idea what it actually costs? Uh, four thirty nine. What was it? <laughs> four thirty eight. No! <laughs> Come on! Holy cow! That would have been the best guess of the century. <laughs> getting it exactly. That's pretty right. amazing. Okay, Dang. so you are correct. Bag of Cheetos, four thirty eight. Okay. And a gallon of gasoline here. I mean, of course, there's a range. Right. But it's about four dollars. Okay. A gallon. Dang. Four. So, yeah, I was one cent off. That's pretty nuts. That would have been so good. Good job. Okay, so next one. Nike Air Jordan One Low. Okay. Low tops or an Apple TV 4K Wi Fi. All right. I believe the Apple TV is more. I'm going to say like 130 bucks. And I think That's... that the Air Jordans are like 90. Okay. So Apple TV is 129. So, so I you're a dollar off. Dollar off on that. Let's just okay. keep going one off. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and the Nike Air Jordan 1 lows are 110. Oh, okay. So I still got it right. You still got it right. But I was a little bit off with you're the shoes. You're off on the shoes. Okay. Dang. Hey, I'm not too bad at this, though. This is, you're pretty I'm good. Actually pretty you're pretty good. good. Yeah. You need to go on the price of right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Next is a set of Callaway Great Big Bertha irons. So this is golf clubs. Okay. I'm going to have <laughs> no idea on this one. And a one wheel GT. That's their like premium model. One. Do you know oh, the one wheel? One wheel. Yeah. 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 Okay. This is interesting premium one i think those one wheels are like way more expensive than they should be it might be and you said it's a premium one yeah so it's like probably like 1200 bucks or something so i'm gonna say higher <laughs> like way higher yeah. uh, oh gosh is it 2000 bucks no way a set of golf clubs is more than that which one do you think is worth more? No way. Or cost more? All right. I have to. It's probably a trick question, but I have to go with the one wheel. Are people really spending $2,000 on golf clubs? So the one wheel is 2200 Okay. And the golf clubs, these are like, these are the, nice. The best golf, the nice, golf clubs? Nice, nice set of golf clubs. Okay. Um, thirty-one fifty. dollars <laughs> Holy This is just cow. the irons. It's not everything. 
Oh but. my gosh, guys, what are you spending your money on? <laughs> That's crazy. $3,000 for golf hey, clubs. Hey, someone gave a review and said that they got 10 extra yards just by switching. So There you go. You know. That's pay to win right there. <laughs> That's exactly 10 right. 10 yards for spending. They said it was a year. cheat club, so you know. You got to hmm. you got to pay So for how much does just like extra. normal golf clubs cost? Oh, you can get them for like in the few hundred bucks. Okay. Yeah. It's not as bad That's as 3,000. No. No. Pretty big price range there. Okay. Here we go for another big one. Okay. A Cirrus Vision jet airplane. <laughs> okay. A whole airplane. <laughs> so this is a this is a small jet airplane, like okay. a private. Um, I'm not sure how many seats there are. Not very many. Private jet. Private jet. Small private jet airplane. All right. Or a 1933. That's why I was saying before. I got I had mm. two things in there that were from 1933. Okay. 1933 Double Eagle twenty dollar gold coin. Twenty dollar. I'm gonna assume it's not twenty dollars. <laughs> That's the uh, face value. All right. You keep doing trick questions, so I'm hoping this one isn't a trick question, <laughs> and I'm going with the private jet. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> How much do you think a, a small oh. private jet would be? Small private jet. I'm gonna get this so wrong. Uh. Uh. Two hundred grand. Okay. Yeah, you're off. You're off by more. You're off by ten. ten. Factor of ten. Oh, wait, really? Yeah. It's $2 million? Yeah. No way. $2 million for the Cirrus, what's it called? Holy Vision cow. jet airplane. I mean, ranges, of course. I think that's where it starts. Okay. And the 1933 Double Eagle $20 gold coin mm -hmm. fetched $18.9 million. So I was way off on that one. Can you believe that? That was only $16 million off. I mean, so. we're talking about money, so I had to throw a money one in there. That is so crazy. Gold coin... So they only made, oh gosh, what was it? 20 or 50 of these. I can't remember. 30, somewhere okay. in that range. They only made that many in 1933 of these gold coins. And there's only one that legally um, is in private hands. Hmm. So all the others are in... Are they, are they at least made out of real gold? I believe so. Okay, good. So that, that kind of justifies the... 18, wait, what was it? 18 million? 18.9 million. Yeah. I'm pretty sure just from its value in gold, it's worth... Uh, maybe a few hundred bucks. Few hundred bucks. So. so there you go. That really justifies the price. <laughs> Definitely. That's so crazy though. Yeah. Who? I know there's like coin collectors out there, but are people really spending nineteen million dollars on a coin? When it's one so. of a kind like that, like literally, there's only mm. one in private hands. Yeah. And it's a very rare coin. Yeah, I guess so. It's kind of crazy what people are willing to spend on collectors items like that if you go onto ebay and like look at stuff mm -hmm. i mean that's small beans compared to a gold coin like this but you can still find all kinds of collectors type stuff that you can you know spend lots of money on if you want to um so the question is how much would that one hundred thousand dollar bill cost if that was if legal that was for private legal. citizens to own? <laughs> that's an interesting question that I was 1934 know. so it was like oh. right at the same time period Huh. It's not made out of gold, but 100000 So it would at least be worth that much. It's paper. It's paper, <laughs> but it would at least be worth $100,000, right? Well, yeah, of course. So, of course, it would probably be worth a lot more than a that. A lot more than that. It might be in the yeah. millions, too. Interesting question. But I'd probably rather spend my money on gold than just a piece of paper. Yeah. If I'm going to be spending millions of dollars. <laughs> was that the last that one? Was that was Yeah, that was it. All right. Well, I have one more fun quiz for you. All right. So guess the price of these Iconic Electronics. Okay. So this is like the original version of uh, everything. Oh, like Game Boy. Is that going to be in there? So, no, it is not. <laughs> okay. But first up is the iPhone. And I'm going to tell you, so again, this is original iPhone, iPhone 1. And I'm going to tell you the year of all these so that okay. you can kind of adjust for I'm, inflation. Right, got it. All right, so iPhone, 2007. That was 2007. Um, I'm going to have to say... 225. Ooh, you need to double it. Oh, really? It was 600 bucks. My gosh. So, that's actually, the price of an iPhone today. 599, guys. 599, not 600. That okay. Would be ridiculous. <laughs> they, well, I mean, that just goes to show they like keep their prices. They just... keep the prices the same, yeah. So, I actually did my research wow. and I I did an inflation calculator and so I have all the prices oh, in today's money. So, at 600, what is that today? It's $875. Okay, so it's still kind of in the same ballpark as what they sell for. As what they today. sell for now, yeah. yeah. So they've been keeping wow. their prices the same since 2007. Okay, okay. All right, next up, the original PlayStation, and that came out in 1994. 94 PlayStation. 
Um, I'm going to say 199. Mm. You're right with the 99. 299. <laughs> if you get, yeah, there you go. Okay. It's 299. And in today's money, that's $614. Oh, so probably again. about the same. About again. the same. Okay. So if I had an inflation calculator in my head, then, yeah, then you'd probably get a lot of these. <laughs> I right. would get these a lot closer. All right. Here's one that is going to be pretty difficult because this is the original TV. Oh my gosh. How oh. much did the first TV cost? And this was in. So is this for consumer? Like yes. consumers could buy it? Yes. So the first, like, I guess, yeah, consumer. What is this? Like late 50s? It's actually 1934. Oh my gosh. I know. They sold. What? 1934. So it didn't come to the US actually for maybe like a decade or huh. longer, but I think they started selling them in Germany in 1934. Wow. So is this still in dollars though? You have the price in yeah. dollars? <clears throat> Prices in dollars. And. Just saying, it's pretty expensive. Of course, it's going to be a lot less then because inflation now. But. Okay. Well, now you're getting me thinking because I'm thinking like 30 bucks, which is a lot of money back then. But okay. now you're making me think that it might be more than that. 1930s. I know. And remember, you probably didn't even think of, of TVs being out until the 50s. Right. So it's going to be like, this is a premium, premium so item. Super premium. Yeah. Still, though, like. Here's a fun fact. Even a Premium item. But the screen was only 12 inches. Well, I, I figured that. So yeah. we put our phones together and that's, it's that size. Yeah. That's a 12 inch TV right there. Diagonal, right? 12 inch diagonal. So yeah. it's like, well, it's, that's actually pretty big for a 34. I wouldn't think it would be that big actually. For 1934? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So then I'm going to have to go up to like 400 bucks. Very, very close. I'll give it to you. $445. Oh. And in today's money, that's $10,100. Who was buying those? Rich people in Germany, I guess. It doesn't make any sense. You'd buy this TV and Have there's nothing to watch. only like 10 of them out there because no one can afford it. Right. And what are they going to be broadcasting? I don't know what they're watching on that, but <laughs> maybe there is some sort of German channel you could watch. But yeah, 10000 bucks for that. That's pretty crazy. Wow. Nice. All right. Next up, the first digital camera. Okay, what year is this? Let and me it, guess. Let me guess what year. Okay. First digital, digital camera, all digital. Yeah, first fully digital camera. Um, like late eighties. Yeah, nineteen eighty-eight. Okay. Um, and I'm just gonna help you out. Who's the manufacturer? Very, 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 very expensive. <laughs> so who's the manufacturer? It's actually uh, Fujifilm, I believe. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So, which is interesting because their name is. Fuji film, and they came out with the first fully digital, <laughs> digital. camera. So. This, was this for consumers, or is this yep. more like a television production type camera? Do you know? No, it was for consumers, but yeah. not really because no well, one could afford it. Right. Okay. So I'll say uh, an 88, um, $3,500. <laughs> like a <laughs> really? lot more. Yeah. My gosh. I don't know who. There's no way people are buying this. I know. I had to look up multiple sources because I was like, there's no what, way like this is actually the price. More. Grand? I know. 20. Yep. $20,000 to buy the very first digital camera in 1988. You must have been a super photography buff. But here's the thing. Not really. How much because, was that? Okay. So that's $51,000 in today's money. But with the SD card that came with it. There was only, so that's the thing. It wasn't just the camera. It came with like SD card. It came with they kind of like SD this. SD cards back then? <laughs> well, that was the very first one. It was the very yeah. first um, digital camera. Okay. But the SD card, I think only had like 20 megabytes. So <laughs> oh, you could only. I thought. Or no, it might've been two megabytes. Is this like a, how many pixel camera is this? <laughs> I don't know, but. You could only take 10 pictures before your SD card was full. So you're spending $20,000 to take 10 pictures on an SD card. I guess the full. first of anything like that is going to be very expensive. Yeah. But still, that blows me away. Okay. Now we're we going down in price a little bit for okay. the very last one. The very first DVD player. And oh, this was DVD. 1996. Well, I know the first VCR we bought was $500. Bucks. Um, DVD player... In 96, the very first one. That makes it so hard now that yeah. I've done this because it's just way more than you expect. Um, but I'm going to say it's still probably around that. I'm going to say 750 It was $600. Dang, I was going to say so, six. Yeah, <laughs> you were pretty okay. close. Okay. But that is pretty crazy. It's been really interesting to go through and like look at the very first of everything. But of yeah. course, like you were saying, it's not 
very first four like it was the very first four actual consumers right so i think that made it a little bit more relatable rather than for like movie productions or whatever yep. but yeah first dvd player six hundred dollars which is one thousand one hundred and sixty dollars in today's money that is so yeah that's that, very expensive that's very expensive all right do you want a bonus round all right let's do it yeah okay so i had i had an extra one just in case i don't know we need it for some reason okay so let's see let's see how you do Name five music groups that have a money-related term in their name. Oh, gosh. I'll be happy with myself if I can get one. <laughs> uh, once you get rolling, yeah, you'll get like, some. Okay, so like five artists Yep. with some sort of money-related term in their name. Yep. All right, this one's definitely not on your list, but Baby No Money. I don't have him. He's a he's a rapper. <laughs> I just have I just have a list here from um, the internet. Okay. So. Well, I'm taking that because he is an artist. That's and he fine. Has money if you know name. it, you got it. All right, baby, no money. <laughs> oh man, I'm thinking of songs. Oh like, yeah, you got to get to the artist. I'm thinking of like Kesha with her TikTok song. Yeah. That, has, that talks about money in it. Um, There's a really popular. I think I'm pretty sure he's a rapper. <laughs> Probably a lot of these are rappers. Um, that when you hear it rapper it's not like he's not super new new recent tupac are you talking about like tupac time period like um, kind of older rappers i think so i'm not super into music so. yeah you're not, and you're definitely not into rap so oh goodness oh man he's one of the Biggie cur- Smalls, he's one of the uh, currencies kind of coin uh, bill coin oh coin dime and they keep going up Oh, Nickelback. Oh, that's one of them. Hey, there that's you not go. the one I was thinking not, of. Yeah, that that's not a rapper. Talking about. Okay, so there's two. I'll yeah, take that. There though. you go. Nickelback. Um, another coin, penny. Uh, no, I said up. Oh, sorry. I was <laughs> I was like on, in my own world. Uh, okay, quarter. One more. Uh, there's more. <laughs> one more higher. A silver, like the half dollar. So what is that called? Half dollar. Silver, silver, Think something? of it in cents. <laughs> I'm going to basically have to tell you. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm embarrassed. We're ending the episode right now. 50 cent. Oh, my yeah. gosh. That is really bad. Okay, so you actually realized that you should have thought of that. Yes. Oh, my <laughs> okay. goodness. That is absolutely <laughs> awful. I'm not taking that, so I still only have two. Wow. Um, 50 cent. There's another one that's um, from British uh, money. Not, it's not. It's uh, not pound? No. Uh, Euro. Pound. It's kind of older, older ooh. money. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What is it? Dang it. Dang it. Actually, kind of si- is... sounds like our one cent piece. Penny. Oh, pence. But who's the, who's the number? It has a number at the beginning. Pence. <laughs> six. Six cents? No. What? Six pence. Six pence. You don't know that's it. A, that's an artist? Six pence, none the richer. <laughs> Is that a is that a rapper? <laughs> no, no, it's just a band. Yeah, who the heck is that? You, I've never heard. Okay, of Okay, you've never heard of them. No. Uh, let's just go through. You probably don't know Johnny Cash. No, I've heard of Johnny Cash. Yeah, he's an old country singer. But okay. Oh, country. I wouldn't have thought country. From uh, that name, but... you know what? Maybe. He's Maybe he might be. I not. I don't know. Country. I've never heard his music. I just said I wasn't too into music. So. Yeah. <laughs> so we're both. Maybe kind he's of... not country. If I gave you this question, oh, would you do horrible. worse than me? Yeah, okay, I might get Nickelback. That makes me feel a and little bit maybe, better. Maybe 50 Cent. This is an embarrassing display. <laughs> yeah, 50 Cent, that should have been obvious. Uh, let me just see if there's any like big ones. Okay. I don't know. If you guys have thought of any, put it in the comments. Let mm-hmm. us know. Casting Crowns? Have you ever heard of them? Does that nope. sound familiar to you at all? Nope. Um, anyway, it just like gets into the weeds. like Just some random Goo Goo Dollars? Never that heard of them. must be a knockoff from Goo Goo Dolls, I guess. I don't ah, really know. I don't know. Anyway. That was it. That was so did I only get two? I think you I got <laughs> Nickelback and I, what's the other one I got by myself? Oh, it was the first one that I didn't know. Baby to Money or something like that? Oh yeah, Baby No Money. No Money. <laughs> and Nickelback. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, well, that was maybe my worst uh, performance yet. <laughs> so on that note, I guess we have to end it. I, I guess I could so. have done better. Yeah, I guess but... we're going to have to end it. Thank you guys for tuning in to this week's episode. If you're watching on video form, be sure to give it a like. And if you're listening, read us five stars on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. And we'll see you guys next week. See ya.